<clears throat> so what you're about to see is um, the glycon beta. I need to polish up the UI a little bit and then uh, send it out to the beta testers. And uh, I got a little few more tweaks here and there I'm going to add in, but I just wanted to show you uh, currently um, basically that it's a, a fully armed and operational puppeting system. So um, there are a million questions I'm sure that people have, um, but I basically want to show you that, yeah, this is a real thing. It actually does work. If you see the red light above my head, I'm going to press that. I'm going to press the record button now and begin recording. And ta -da! now we're recording. So it's tracking everything I do. I can, you know, do my dab or whatever I want. And then, um, oh yeah, and then I hit the uh, stop recording button and it spits out a, B, uh, a file. Now, these are configurable. Uh, in this case, I've got it set to spit out a BVH file. Um, that's the first format that I was able to get working. It's it's a kind of an industry standard for, you know, for, um, uh, for uh, what do you call these things? Uh, motion capture, right? So BVH file is the one that's gonna be in the beta and then we'll have uh, FBX shortly after that and HMOT shortly after that, and probably in that order. Okay, so without further ado, Let's see what this looks like in Lightwave. Oh, my head. Oh, God, that's freaky. Okay. All right, so we're going to switch over to Lightwave. Pop open the MoCap BVH. Here it goes. Pay no attention to my hair. I'm sure it is freaky. Load that sucker up. So BVH files are usually pretty heavy. Um, and uh or they're, they're not necessarily heavy but you can record a lot of data into them and so here we go there is our animation right there and we can scrub through that and and that's our dude with a skeleton and hand gestures and everything so i'm going to get back to uh working on the ui and get this sucker out as soon as possible to all the beta testers um and if you're looking for more information on this i'll post a link uh in the comments on this or in the description or something like that soon. There you go.